So, Julian, welcome back to the podcast. Always excited to have you on because of the value that you share. Always really looking forward to bringing you on because you have a lot of value that you offer people when you talk. Um, from earning millions of dollars in the network marketing industry to having multiple other business ventures and traveling the world, you also, you offer a very value-added perspective on life. And I think that's something that a lot of people that tune into this podcast really appreciate a lot. And getting this podcast started off, um, recent travels. You've been out and about lately. Absolutely. Congratulations on that, man. Saw you recently over in Europe. What was that like, man? What were some of your favorite places while you were over there? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you for having me back on, man. Bobby, yes, always always a pleasure. We've been doing this for years together, always since the college days, and now we're in Miami doing podcasts together, traveling. Um, well, soon to be traveling the world, but yes, sir. Um, you know, we travel the world. You know, do uh, build business together in the past, and you know, I know we're bringing a lot of value to the world with these podcasts. But yes, sir. It was it was pretty amazing. I mean, I literally need to look on my maps on my phone to see all the places I was just in. I mean, literally, I was in Italy, um, Greece, London, uh, shoot, where else was I? Germany. uh, Switzerland. Switzerland, yes, went to Switzerland. And then ended in Dubai with my business partner, Tommy, that does Amazon, uh, sells and does the Amazon automation. We're going to get into that. Amazon stores, so yeah, we'll we'll, we'll touch on that. But it was like 35 days of traveling. It was it was uh, flights, trains, yeah, basically planes and trains the was, entire time. It was probably rejuvenating yes. mentally to go out there and do all that traveling. But that's a lot of days of travel. It's it a is. lot of living. Had out to of do the spa, spa days in between. Hit the gym. Keep up. You know, you're traveling. Health is important too. So I gotta gotta eat right out there. So. Yeah, it was, it was a ton of traveling, though, man. You are big on the health side as well, too. Even when traveling, you still make sure you get your healthy foods. Oh, yeah. Make sure the mind's operating mm-hmm. at peak state, making sure your body's operating at peak state. I used to get sick a lot, man. Listen, health health's important. Like, mm-hmm. if you're traveling, health's important. If you work a job, if you, build a, if you have a business, health's important. There's nothing more important than health. And as much as people want to, like, you know, sometimes disagree, oh, I don't need sleep, you need sleep. And you need to eat good food. If you sleep, eat good food, you are so productive the next day. Like your your mind's clear. You can get right. tasks done. You can rank up in your life, rank up in your business, hit right. promotions, do do all that, you know? So right. it's very important, man. I learned the hard way from right. you know, having health deteriorate. <laughs> deterioration right. and, and just uh, struggling with the health for a while right i saw the pictures of you in greece yeah those, that water <laughs> those photos man it was like a wallpaper photo like literally like i used to have that on my screensaver on my computer back at home in pennsylvania it was like my screensaver i, I remember that and i was there in greece looking out like the same almost the same place i have my screensaver and like crystal clear waters these little uh white houses on the hills with the uh the blue pools like the infinity pools it was it was surreal man. so motivating so motivating yep. so much motivation coming from where we like came that. from just looking at your photos is motivating and i think that a lot of people that check it out they probably feel that inspiration and a lot of that comes from what you do on the business side it's not like you just get to live this glorious life because you you were born into right. a lot of money you recently started automating some of your businesses. I know mm-hmm. you have the Amazon store going on right now. Talk right. a little bit about that. It's so interesting to understand the opportunities that exist for other people that might say, hey, you know, nine to five job, right. I don't mind doing it, but what else is out there? Talk about the Amazon automation and the Amazon store that you've been working with. Yeah, so my business partner that I was with in Dubai, Tommy, um, he's been teaching Amazon how to help people and sell on Amazon for the last like, Geez, seven years, and uh, to teach somebody usually charge you know about a thousand dollars to teach somebody how to you know start their store and everything. And about two and a half years ago, a lot of his clients were asking, "Hey, Tommy, I don't have time. I work a job. I go to school. I'm busy. Um, you have a team. You have VAs. You have what's called virtual assistants overseas that work for you know a lot less than you know a customer support team in America. And all their responsibility is is to sell." And list products and deal with customers on Amazon. So about two and a half years ago, he started the service, and uh, he has now over 200 clients 
uh, that have bought into the Amazon automation service, which is now about 25,000. It's a higher ticket uh, item, but basically the reason why is because the team does all the work. Right. You know, uh, the, the team does all the work. They find the products, they list the products, they deal with customers. You know, you're basically in this drop shipping model, which working at Amazon, right. you understand, you know, how people drop ship and they mm-hmm. send products in and f- FBA fulfillment by Amazon. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not even se- like with this model, we're not even sending products into Amazon. We're, sh- we're using the Amazon platform and we're shipping directly from the supplier to the customer, you know, right. so it's, it's a very, very interesting business model. Uh, I've been my Amazon store has been uh, active for about six months now and uh, made my money back and I'm clearing about five to six grand a month right now passively profit right and mm-hmm. you know out of that I give the virtual assistant team about 30% of my profits but I'm not doing anything right that's the best part I'm not doing anything I'm traveling I'm building my current business in network marketing with with iMarkets live but I'm right I have this extra passive income stream that Tommy and the and the team manage and scale and you have youtube videos out on that as well too right yeah i just put a, a video uh five minutes i think five six minutes kind of explain some of the basics right and then tommy has his whole long video explaining the entire process but right yeah i just go over you know me partnering with tommy and, and how that's how that's went so far it's easy to understand once you actually start learning about it once you start watching videos on and asking questions it's something that's easy to understand it's not complicated oh, it's not it's not rocket science it's, it's just not at all expose your mind to it and then it can become something that you might be able to do yeah and at first too i was asking questions like you know what's sold what items he's right. like julian don't worry about that the team finds the most profitable items they find items that sell for 10 to 20 percent profit margins right and they sell all day long and it's crazy as I look at my order, my order history here. I just, I just want to show you real quick. It's it's crazy. Look at these manager orders. What's being shipped? Charcoal uh, match lighters, um, drawers, right? Uh, let's see what else. Woman, I don't even know what the heck that is. <laughs> five gallon water bottles. Um, you know what? All these five gallon water bottles. It's like all the things that are selling on here. Right. I would never think about. Mm-hmm. listing and selling personally you mm-hmm. know i would think about technology or different yeah. items like that yeah but they're literally selling everything and anything that can make profit and that can sell all day long which is awesome and how much time per week are you investing into this i know you mentioned not much time at all how much time i just check my app to see what kind of uh sales have, have come through that's it right i just open the app <laughs> you know refresh it real quick and that's it. So I'd say pff, nothing. Business a minute. in 2019 a minute a week. can be that easy <laughs> from an initial investment. Yeah. That's nice. And I like that you have videos out that are about it. So other people that are interested in something like that, they, mm-hmm. they can tune into that. Yep. They can harness that. And it's not like that business is going to go anywhere or disappear. It's going to evolve. You and I both know Amazon's only, only making more moves, only expanding. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the next things... I uh I find interesting about your life is I see you got a renter in the house now, man. Always finding ways to keep cash flow mm-hmm. coming. And you think about that, that's the entrepreneur mindset. Hey, you got this nice two bedroom um, luxury condo right here on the water, lived here privately for the last year, and hey, bring a good renter in, someone that's a business partner in. Oh yeah. Take him in, continue to increase cash flow. It's really part of the entrepreneur mindset. Exactly. There, huh? I mean, you said it exactly. It's not just a renter. It's an accountability partner. It's a business partner. It's, you know, it's like some people want to live with somebody else to maybe lower rent or, you know, to lower expenses or split costs. And I look for somebody at this point in my life that can add value to my life, that can think of new businesses. We can make moves together. We can, you know, do different things to increase our life, our success, our lifestyle together, you know? So, um, definitely, yeah, he's been a business partner for the last like four or five years, um, and it's somebody that keeps me accountable. I keep him accountable in business. We travel, we speak on stages around the world. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a good partnership slash uh, you know person to have. You know, splitting costs for right. sure, for sure. Right. And speaking on social circles, it's it's super important to have a social circle that makes you better. That's an accountability partner that helps you grow as a person, that you can mentor, can help mentor you, because in this day and age, 
I notice a lot. There, there can be gloominess in life. People can go into dark corners. People can become sad mm -hmm. and depressed. And it's easy to. Bills can get you. Life circumstances, relationships can get you. And that's why I think it's important to find that social circle that really helps you grow, helps your mind develop, helps pick you up out of those dark corners that right. you might find yourself in. Man, so I look at your social circle seven, eight years ago. And I look at your social circle right now. It's constantly evolved. It's constantly grown. And there's a lot of people that have a lot of value in it mm -hmm. there. What is the importance of that social circle to you? And what are you looking for in people that you want to bring into your social circle? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, it's important to get comfortable with cutting people out. You know, like most of us are comfortable with our association, the people that we've known, the friends that we've known. Um, you know, they're comfortable, right? We've gone out with them. We've kind of family events with them, but sometimes the people closest to us are not the people that are really there for us. You know, they want things from us. They want to drain us, drain us of our energy, right. our time, our money. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as I made the decision that I was okay with cutting people off, that I was comfortable with being around and getting uncomfortable and finding new association, I started to, at 18 years old, you know, I'm 26 years old right now, 18 years old, surrounding myself with people who are six and seven figure earners in different businesses and in different industries, investors, entrepreneurs, motivational speakers, people mm -hmm. from all over the world that were really progressing and doing things. And maybe not everyone wants that. Maybe everyone wants, some people want to feel comfortable and want to have that like comfort of that, of that social circle. But I just wanted to always be around people who are pushing me. You know, I wanted to yeah. be motivated. I wanted to be challenged. And at a young age, I decided that, you know, so it's definitely important to surround yourself with good people. You know, like they say, you are the average of the, of the five closest right. people. So it's like, right. you know, if, you know, I'm gonna throw it out there, if your social circle's broke, 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 you're gonna be the fifth person, you're ba probably gonna be broke. Mm -hmm. I'm just being honest, but if you're surrounding yourself with, you know, five entrepreneurs, five people are going somewhere, five people in sales that are beasting at sales, mm -hmm. um, or in your business, five people that are beasting in production, making right. production skyrocket, right. you're probably gonna be that fifth person that's putting numbers on the board and really uh, uh, just a producer, you yeah. know? So, um, you know, cut cut people out. I've cut a lot of people out. I mean, whether it's on even, even Instagram and Facebook, my block list is very long. The negativity I'm sure you got rid yeah. of. Friends mm -hmm. in my life, I literally had to block because they they weren't okay with me changing. And I said, you know what? And they were they were saying this and saying that. I said, you know what? You don't even, you don't even deserve to be watching my increase because most right. likely, here's the thing, you know, the people um, people that that don't support you eventually are going to want to celebrate with you. Right. You know, so people from Pennsylvania or different places I've lived. Oh, Julian, can I, can I come to Miami? Oh, you're doing so well. Nice. You know, I'm, I'm gonna come kick it for a little bit. It's like, dude. You weren't there during my struggle. You weren't in my association during my struggle. You weren't there for me, supporting mentally, you know, whatever. Why why should you be there during the success? Right. You know, so just find find the good association now. It's it's been a huge key to my success at a young age. Yeah, absolutely. And I look at that and you're somebody that's caused me to make sure I have a good social circle. I look at the people I surround myself with. I try to find people that are successful entrepreneurs, good in corporate America, are writing a book or just generally a positive, good spiritual person. And when you go in that direction, the, the amount of time that you'll spend in a dark corner or a gloomy mm -hmm. mental place is very low because you're around those people that constantly bring you up. So I think that yeah. that's huge right there. Yeah, I, I say too, adding on to that, like, I don't speak about speak about this too much, but I believe in like frequencies, like the energy that you yeah. give off, you know. And yeah. if you're around low frequency people, people that operate at low frequency, people that are talking negative, doing negative things, always saying, you know, the self talk, you know, I'm 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 crap, I'm this, I'm not good enough, you know. That's that's what your frequency is going to be if you're always around those people. But if you're if you're around people that are like. I am amazing, I am great. And not like at a, in an egotistical yeah. way, but like, yeah. you know, I am productive. Like the self-talk, good positive self-talk every single day, like it's gonna start to wear off on you uh, or, 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 or rub off on you, you know? But so many people in this world are around, surrounding themselves with low frequency people that are just draining, draining, draining. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, you know? It is that, it, it is that. And 
the the frequency is interesting because when you go around somebody that's really positive and really high on life, you feel it. Yeah. You notice it right away. Yeah. And when you go around someone that's that's in a that's in a little depressive state, you can feel it. You can notice it right away. E- even today, we're in the elevator. Rajon Rondo plays now right. in the La- Lakers. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. He, he, we're, we're in the elevator going down, and you know you're you're like what, what's up, man? And the frequency of Bobby, the frequency of you, right? Yeah. As a person, as a soul, as a human being, right? Like he felt it. He right. felt the energy. He felt that you're here. You're good vibes. Right. You're, you're, you're good people, and he just pounded right. you up, dapped yep. you up real quick. He starts. You guys started talking. Right. It's because of that high energy. energy. If you were yeah. a low energy, low frequency person, you could have never talked and conversated like that to somebody of that caliber that's making those right. type of moves. You know. Right. Absolutely. It's, it's pretty cool. And I've always been interested in Rajon Rondo because I, I know he likes real estate, smart basketball player, mm-hmm. champion, big time guy on the LA Lakers right yep. now. So that was cool having the chance to talk to him. Oh yeah. Which which leads me towards in in at Amazon, as a manager, my job is to increase productivity, quality, and safety. I know very well how to drive those results for the business within Amazon. In your life, you have to drive results that are in network marketing. You have to grow people, you have to grow leaders, and you need to drive sales. How do you go about driving results in your business? What does that look like? What action steps do you take to make sure that you're constantly driving results? Yeah, I mean, people do what you do, you know? So I show, I demonstrate first so people can follow and they can learn from my actions, you know? People are only going to do what you do as a leader, you know. So if you're not doing the task, if you're not doing the activities, if you're not leading by example, what are they going to do? If you're lazy, what are your people going to do? What is your sales team going to do? They're going to be lazy as well. So I'm always just leading by example and, and demonstrating, you know, the act, the activity first. And the people that that want it, they're going to follow. If somebody does not want it. I'm going to try to develop them. You know, I'm going to try to give them some advice, give them some uh, support, give them give them some assistance. You know, one of my mm-hmm. buddies actually helped him in uh, a network marketing go from zero to about twenty four thousand dollars a month residually. Had no experience, was honestly kind of lazy, smoked weed, did his thing. Mm-hmm. You know, out in California, mm-hmm. and and he had this little internal drive a little bit, but he was just lost and. When I realized that he wasn't going to be that person to step up on, on his own, I gave him a book. Or actually, I gave him two two books: mm-hmm. GoPro and Think and Grow Rich. Mm-hmm. I told I told him, read these books. Mm-hmm. Right? Actually, one of the books he read by himself. Right? Mm-hmm. He's like, dude, I, I need to have increase. I need to have. Uh, I need to better my life. He read Think and Grow Rich, and then he read GoPro, and those books kind of got him in that different state of mind you know right. so i gave him the material i gave him the development and it could be giving audios books an article a magazine uh you know article whatever it is um to to my sales team to my people around the yeah. world and that inspires a lot of them to step up just the small things right you know like mm-hmm. if anyone on this podcast uh says hey i'm a leader well, mm-hmm. do something for your people. Do something for your sales team, you know? And you know it's important to mm-hmm. paint the picture for your people before they can see their reality, before right. they can see that promotion, before they can see that next uh, rank up, before they can see that investment flourish. Um, they need to have a picture painted of what could be if they put in the work, if they put in the time, if they put in the dedication. So, um you know, I'm focusing on that, and I'm also focusing on holding people accountable. You know, yes. I, I, I tell people, hey, listen. Accountability is huge. You know, if, if you're working with me, first of all, I'm going to help you hit A, B, and C goal, right? I'm going to help you hit these goals, but I need a commitment of at least six months or at least mm-hmm. 12 months of your time, dedicated, focused. If you don't give up on me, I'm not going to give up on you, you know? Right. But you tell that, you get a commitment, you get a handshake. Even in, in my business, I get a written statement from somebody signed, uh, like, hey, I commit to learning um, you know, about trading, learning about business, learning about entrepreneurship, learning about you know, lowering my tax liability for at least six to 12 months. Right. You know, so I, I get that commitment from them, which is huge. I've noticed you when you're working in your business, when you're on phone calls, you're very passionate. You speak about what you know about. Mm-hmm. You don't talk about what you don't know about. And if someone really wants to know more information and you don't understand it, 
you'll go connect them with the person that does know that information. You've always been big on three-way calls and bringing people together. So I think when you talk about leading by example to drive results, I think that's a perfect example of what you do. I mean, you're on webinars, you're on phone calls. When you go to conferences, you're always expressing a whole lot of value. And I think a lot of your top leaders have to notice that as well too, because in sales, it's kind of structured in a certain sense. You have Julian, top performer here. Then you've got a couple of your other top sales performers right, underneath right. you and they have other people underneath them. So it really is follow the leader in a certain sense. Uh huh. And I see that when you're going through all your phone calls and you're working with customers or you're working with distributors and you're working with that high energy, that high level of motivation, that really has to drive the business. And that's what the business is all about right there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that a lot of times when I look back on my sales career, when I was selling for Honda, you, you had to be proactive. Big Everything time. had to be proactive. Not reactive. You're proactive for sure. Absolutely. And I noticed that you seem to be you seem to be a little bit more proactive than you used to be in just going about life. And I think that's where you drive where a lot of other people that join your business want to come and join you is they, they see that you're taking life by the horns, not just your network marketing business, but you've got other businesses that you're doing. And I think that's really what has caused you to have such a big life following. And when you think about that, like you look at the next five years and you think about Julian Kushner, the, the brand that you have amounted to thus far, what do you think about when you think about the next five years? Where do you see yourself going? Yeah, I mean, I just I just see myself impacting more people around the world on stages, through social media, excuse me, at, at events. I mean, kind of all over just, just by constant, you know, just bringing value, 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 good vibes, good energy um, to the world, right? And, uh, you know, I think that really started in my local area, started in Florida, just the handshakes and the compliments, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, in your local area. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing that all around the world. So I think, I think just adding more value to the world as well as, you know, increasing brand on social media, YouTube, YouTube channel, uh, bettering my personal brand, um, looking to get, you know, a, a lot of articles and interviews done with uh, big publications mm -hmm. and podcasts and, you know, a lot of, a lot of collaborations with influencers. So overall, just, getting getting everything out there even even more um and you know of course having increase in in amazon uh seeing that you know skyrocket with the amazon automation store you know my my network marketing business investments outside of network marketing and also big time real estate i mean we've been talking quite about real quite quite a lot about real estate here yes, the sir. properties that you have um you know uh obtained and, and got into your portfolio and I think just all the moves that we're going to make in real estate going into the future, you know, I have a lot of friends in real estate, so I, I want to get into that heavily, you know, single family, multifamily, mm -hmm. commercial real estate with a couple of good, good partners. And then again, that's when the association comes back and play. Who do we want to mm -hmm. invest in real estate with? Mm -hmm. Yourself, myself, Alex Morton, mm -hmm. Jason, Johnny, like everybody, mm -hmm. and, and even some more people, Chris Terry, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's definitely the, the plan for the next five years. Just Build a great portfolio, uh, a great investments, great assets with great people. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm going to wrap this up right here, moving on that 25-minute mark right now. Um, always a pleasure having you on. Um, a lot of people really like the last podcast that you came on. Um, people will enjoy this one a whole lot. Really looking forward to having you on more. Um, it's just that value that you drive. It's not the millions of dollars that you've made. It's the, the value that you drive, the abundance that you create, and the mindset that you show other people that they can go and get themselves into when they focus on themselves and they focus on their goals and they turn all of that creative thinking into reality. So much appreciated. Yeah, great, great to be on here.